Hey guys, welcome to Funny Pet Videos. Today we'll be looking at two types of hounds, bloodhounds and basset hounds. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparing their looks, personality, training, and general care to keep them smiling and wagging their tails. Let's begin by looking at their size and look, starting with the bloodhound. Often recognized for its loose, thin skin, the bloodhound's wrinkles are found around the throat, head, and face, and is said to help capture the scents. They have short and dense coats that offer it protection from thorny brambles, and they give them a dignified and noble appearance. They stand tall and strong with their tails mainly sticking upward. Its coat can come in a few colors, black and tan, liver and tan, or red. The bloodhound also has long ears that can stir up odors from the ground. Being so similar in looks, the basset hound shares many traits with the bloodhound. The basset hound shares the same loose, thin skin wrinkles, as well as long ears that hang well under their face. They do, of course, have their differences. The basset hound has a more elongated head with their ever so slightly less wrinkled face. In addition to that, they have a longer back that keeps them on the longer and shorter side of the size spectrum. They usually have a tricolor combination that includes white, black, and fire, as well as white and brown. The dignified bloodhound is a study in contradictions. They are docile, yet stubborn, determined, but not quarrelsome, affectionate, but somewhat shy with people they don't know. Bloodhounds are kind, mild-mannered, and lovable dogs. They are so sweet-natured and will let children poke them and clamor all over them while they just lie there and take it, so owners need to make sure children don't overly pester them. And while they make for a great family pet, bloodhounds may be shy around strangers. Bloodhounds are master chewers and can easily destroy walls, doors, and furniture if left unchecked. They will also eat anything in the hope that it is food. Bloodhounds are not easily trained. This is due largely because they become easily distracted by all the interesting scents around them and because of their playfulness, stubbornness, toughness, and independence. These characteristics, however, are what make bloodhounds a tireless trailer and a loyal companion. Basset hounds are good-natured clowns with a definite sense of humor. They tend to use their pleading gaze to wheedle treats from anyone who can't resist them. Bred as pack dogs, they're fully team-spirited and enjoy company from anyone, whether it's kids, other dogs, or cats. Bassets can be serious barkers, and with their sturdy feet and nails, they tend to be diggers. The hunting urge is still quite strong, and if not safely confined, they will go off hunting on their own. Although they may bark, they are not great watchdogs, as they tend to greet strangers happily. Their loose skin around their mouth can lead to a fair amount of drooling, and many owners keep towels strategically placed around the house for cleanup. The ball lucky. You ready to catch it? Training bloodhounds requires patience and perseverance. If you want to train them, do it in areas with less distraction and scent if possible. Train them in short and frequent sessions a few times a day. Socialization and training, as well as potty training, must be done early. Crate training is a great method for them, although it is understandable if you are not comfortable with this method. Positive reinforcement is the only way to train bloodhounds effectively. Do it with praises and pats on the back and head. Dealing with bloodhounds means you need to show natural authority. Firm leadership is essential to keep them manageable and help them avoid dominance problems. However, remember that they are very sensitive creatures. Bloodhounds are sensitive to the tone of their master's voices. When addressing bloodhounds, it must be in neutral tone, which is not too gentle and not too excited or loud. Good boy. They are very vulnerable to reprimands and praises. Lay down. Lay your head down. The independent basset hound has a reputation for being harder to train than some more eager to please breeds. Training your basset means understanding his motivation to Good use boy. his nose and his need for establishing <laughs> behaviors through repetition and strong leadership. Avoid punishment as a means of correction, as your sensitive basset may not respond well to this form of correction. Instead, focus on direction when getting your basset to listen by establishing a way to get his attention with leadership, signals, and commands. Ideally, you would start working with your basset when they're a young puppy. Time and patience are the most important things you will need to get your basset to listen to you. You will need to establish a strong leadership relationship and be sure to stay consistent. Using treats to reward your food-motivated hound for positive listening behavior is usually a good choice.
Also, be prepared to spend time exercising, establishing obedience, and giving your nosy Basset plenty of sniffing time to meet his scenting needs in order to get your dog to listen more effectively to your direction. Both breeds have about the same needs when it comes to keeping them healthy and happy. They both are mid-energy dogs and should still be taken out for decently long walks at least once a day to keep them fit. It's recommended that you walk them with a leash and should be cautious walking them without a leash as they tend to run off following any interesting smells. Grooming is fairly quick as both dogs have short coats and only need to be brushed once or twice a week. Though you should be cautious of their loose skin as areas can become dirty and cause irritation. It's recommended to check these areas daily so they don't develop infections. Both the Basset and Bloodhounds make great companions. Either one will be a fantastic addition to your family. Seeing as both breeds are also mid-energy dogs, you don't have to worry about strict exercise schedules if that is a problem for your family. Thanks for watching. We hope you're enjoying this new format and let us know what other breeds you would like to see side by side. Hey, hey, hey!